Hi, my name is Sierra Mitchell, and I'm auditioning for the part of Alice in Alice. And um, I hope you guys enjoy my audition tape, and thank you so much for the opportunity. Okay, thanks. I remember. I remember when we first met. The way you looked at me, the hairs on the back of my neck, which is rise to meet you. Windy that day. I was freezing in my yellow knee length dress, standing in front of a two mile long line, waiting to purchase tickets for the reprisal of South Pacific. And there you were, there you were. A warm face in the frigid crowd. I love that face. And the way you looked at me, you looked as if you were never gonna see another woman in your life again. I was smitten. You looked ready and strong. Steady arms ready to carry the burden of a darkened soul. What happened to you, my love? What are you doing here? Some enchanted evening. You may see a stranger. You may see a stranger across a crowded room. And somehow you know that even then, somewhere, you'll see her again. And again. Our home. This was our home. We lived. We laughed. We... It love. This was not just his home. Our lives were here together. Detective, are you insinuating that Jesus is a liar? How is she, by the way? Your mother. You know, I stopped by the home the other day, and the kind lady at the front desk had informed me that she was, well, sleeping. So I asked if she'd tell her that I stopped by and just left. You know, Mr. Drew, the last man to touch me this way is now floor dry. It's not about fear, love. It's about intellect. Life is chess, not checkers. And well, I'm the king. <laughs> all right, all right. I was just leaving. I just need to grab a few things first. You coming? Mmm, cock. Good night, Detective Drew. Yes. I simply looked over the findings and made an educated guess. It was right there. You wouldn't have seen it had you not been on the hot scent of a salacious murderer. Drew, we've been over this. I don't think anything of the sort. I do think I saved you and that you show a little bit more gratitude and respect. Monster? I am not a monster. I did not do the thing you keep accusing me of. I responded. I responded in kind to a callous, selfish, cold-hearted, unfeeling bastard who wasted my time and my love. I reacted to being thrown about and defended myself against a hollow, empty shell of a man. And what about the one that was taken from me? Beauty doesn't return to you like unrealized dreams. It fades, goes old, worn, like age. My life was murdered, my youth. And for what? To give it all away? To be stood up in front of what felt like thousands of eyes standing with me in pity? I didn't need pity. I needed him to show up. Now, can I interest you in tea, Mr. Drew? Fine. Dr. Maurice, would you be able to accommodate me for this evening? Oh, you're out of town. Perfect.